Hi there, Sagittarius, Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your June 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy from Instars by Chrissy.com. Now, June is really a wonderful month and a very powerful one, especially with you guys since we just had a recent lunar eclipse um, in the sign of Sagittarius. So that has opened up a lot of things. For you guys you know you might have figure out quite a few things it could be pleasant or unpleasant but it really has got you thinking and it is really opening doorways you know to some form of possibilities for you in your future so um yeah for this reading for sagittarius i'm going to start everything from scratch i did pre-shuffle the cards and meditated beforehand but i just want to you know break it all down for you guys one by one as you go along with this reading so again this is just um, a general reading so it may or may not tune in for each and every Sagittarius out there just keep that in mind because we do have a lot of Sagittarius people around the world especially here on YouTube land so um, yeah okay so let's see what's going on for you guys for the month of june 2020 in terms of your love life and relationships so let me see it's going to be sagittarius sun moon and rising sign okay we have the queen of cups as your first card and we have this wheel of fortune let me first you know uh, get all the cards out Mm -hmm. so far this is actually a pretty good um, set of cards let's see what's going on for you in the near future yeah okay this is actually so far a wonderful reading let's go pick my Azure dice of the energy and forces behind uh, this reading in terms of their love life and relationships okay so we got here the 11th house Capricorn and this is mercury okay so usually when i do readings like this you know seeing the tarot cards over here gives me an overall energy of the reading so from this reading we can see that you know the month of june might be productive for a lot of people for a lot of sagittarius out there and it's coming in in a very progressive state it is also a situation wherein maybe um, there are a lot of things that you need to contemplate about, a lot to think about. So it's very important that you're not becoming hasty with your decisions and actions and your own conclusions, of course. So let me first get um, my usual set of Cardamancy deck. Let's see what's going on. For those Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign, in terms of love life. Okay. Okay, immediately this is telling me about communication difficulties and some form of arguments, petty arguments or whatever kind of arguments are possible to happen uh, it's really not possible for me to show all the cards of the deck so i will try my best so okay and then it's time for me to pick clarifying cards for the reading mm-hmm this is really where the flavor of the energy uh, basically happens, you know? It gives us more detail to 
a certain reading or scenario. So pick Lenormand cards just to be a lot more sure and have some form of detail to what is to come. Okay. So like I said earlier, there could be some form of conf confusion, some form of communication, some form of confusion that needs to be fixed. Uh, the clouds is has a lot to do with um, confusion, misunderstanding, some form of clarity that we need to have, especially in terms of how we are in terms of our relationships. So um, last but not least, I always use my gypsy cards as well, just to um, give more depth into this. Then we will begin the reading. Okay, so now uh, let's see what's really going on for you guys for the month of June 2020. Okay, so the first card that you have right now is you have this Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is very emotional, intuitive, and empathic all at the same time. And there is also a clarifying card of the sweetheart card. So this could be literally a woman, it could be you, or it could be someone particular in your life. We do have this uh, eight of diamonds along with this, you know, broken glass, bro broken mirror kind of energy. So we can assume that, you know, something might be messing up with your groove at this time maybe you are waiting on something it's it is crossing over the wheel of fortune card or it could be that you know uh, you might be taking certain action maybe that you might regret or you are you know uh, because the wheel of fortune is a waiting card patience card and at the same time it is you know a karmic card it's like you know when some form of action needs to occur it's probably occurring now so i would say that um for a lot of sagittarius people out there you could be in a situation wherein maybe you are frustrated because of things that are not moving forward with your life or maybe you know on another aspect you could be frustrated as a whole with the lockdown you know not much progress is being seen and maybe this is becoming uh, emotionally draining for you or something in your energy field um, is giving some form of mess or uh, I would say that you know, you're, something's just not making you happy, you know, because of the limitations and the frustrations that is happening around you. It could be literally around you. It could be in your home life or literally because of what's happening in the world. And this is somehow affecting you with how you deal with your love life and relationships as a whole. This is also a situation wherein you might feel that time is passing passing away it's like you feel that you are you know running out of time or you could be in a situation wherein you know you are contemplating on things but you know it's not really going anywhere it does show us here that at the top of the reading we do have the ace of pentacles like you have a vision for your future that is somehow you know um maybe lavish or maybe you know um you have a 
it's like in your mind you have a wonderful future a wonderful love a wonderful relationship so the problem here is that maybe you are being frustrated because there is no stability in the relationship or it could be you're having trouble with the, the other person that there is no stability with them you know everything seems changing and you feel that things are not progressing forward because we do have the um the knight of wands at the bottom of this reading so this is the foundation it could be you are in concern with a, a younger man or a man in your life that's ever so changing you know nothing is happening here you know it feels as if you are in a situation wherein there is a potential relationship or a specific specific person that has so much potential to be in a relationship with you or so much potential for a future uh you know having a long-term relationship and all of that but you're somehow um not seeing things progressing it feels as if you're stuck in a game or you're stuck in a in a loophole of something um having so much uh regret right now maybe because of all of the emotional investment that you have given out for for someone um i kind of feel that we do have this knight of pentacles in the recent past so th there is something that you have really tolerated you know it was okay for you that things are moving slow because you believe that this this person is serious with you maybe you have believed that eventually things are gonna move forward but right now there's an element here of frustration because of someone maybe not um, delivering you what they have promised or maybe someone is um, getting annoying or maybe there's just really something unbalanced with your energy maybe someone is triggering that or maybe you're just being emotional about it and we do have a full moon in 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 a lunar eclipse um earlier the month of june around june 5th or 6th depending on where you are in the world and you know you might be getting impatient with things and you know you don't know where things are gonna lead and there's just so much frustration that i'm picking up over here and we do have the emperor card in the future position of the reading making us you know it gives me a feeling that there is some form of conclusion that's going to be happening in the relationship and for some of you you could be just be melodramatic or having some form of anxiety because the emperor card even though it is a card of the leadership you know this could be a particular person in your life this could be you or this could be you know literally you know someone who cares for you who has feelings for you who cares for you but at the same time they are unable to take action for whatever reason or maybe they have some form of hesitation so it is actually that card one of the cards that i don't really fancy very much in a reading even though the effort card is actually a really good card uh, because there is a chance that you know this person is taking so much time in making decision and sometimes they can be very indecisive as well you know how emperors are you know um they they make certain decisions and then suddenly change their mind because they don't know what is good for everyone involved for the for the society for you know the people that they are with but you know for sure that he actually cares um so there is that form of energy another way this can happen is that in the near future this person will show up um, maybe expressing what they truly feel maybe becoming more vulnerable um I would say that eventually though whatever situation that you are in since this is a general reading i'm just trying to give you guys as many um circumstances on how this may play out this can also happen wherein you know you will get some form of answers or conclusion where this relationship is and where is it heading and i kind of feel some form of real talk is going to be coming up in your life um or in the relationship that you have at this time so you know 
at the end of the day, whether this relationship comes in a very positive manner or, or negative manner, this is definitely going to create stability into your relationship, especially if you don't have any stability um, in the relationships that you have at this time. This can also be a situation wherein you have been waiting and waiting for someone for, you know, for for the past few months now and finally something will arrive you know it's like something late has arrived some form of message has arrived or some form of person has arrived but maybe they will show up like the end of june or something like that um, but definitely it will give you some form of answers right now um, you are at the point even though that you are emotional you are also at the point wherein you feel that you are ready to to take a relationship very seriously however i do feel some form of confusion though it's as if you know it, it gives me a feeling that there is a form of relationship that um some Sagittarius or the person who I am you know connecting to in this reading is having some form of communication issues or um, it's as if they are waiting for someone whom they don't have contact with or they don't have clear cut communication with you know it gives that form of feeling because we do have here the seven of cups so there is some form of confusing energy to um, to because this is the position of the other person involved the other circumstances that can be um, influencing the reading so the seven of cups has a lot to do with confusion uh, being not so clear with certain things and when it take a look in this you know it's as if oh, at one point there is some form of progression in the relationship and at what point there is none so it, it gives me you know a very weird feeling as if um, you need to find out what is just in your head and what is really um, in front of you what is reality all those kinds of things this could be a situation where we're in maybe you are just you know you're thinking about your ideal guy your ideal woman in your life but um, maybe you're just thinking about it and you're not really engaging with them there is that possibility but I, but it, but it's not about not really engaging with them i kind of feel that on there is a aspect here that i kind of feel that there is really either no communication happening or you're having a hard time communicating with the other person involved in this situation of course if you are single then maybe you are waiting for someone and finally someone is about to arrive in your life i'm not sure if it's going to happen in the month of june but there is some form of procedure and process that will definitely lead you in connecting and talking and sealing a deal with someone if you're single in a relationship set up again i say that there could be some form of frustration limitation that has been happening but there's going to be some form of real talk that is going to be manifesting that can you know put a relationship moving forward in a very progressive state of mind so overall there's some form of messages that is um, about to get untangled for a lot of Sagittarius people out there definitely for sure so something is going to change in terms of your partnership so if you are single maybe it is a time for you to consider being in a relationship again or this could be a time wherein you might meet someone uh, get to know someone or someone might enter in your life that can you know give you a spark on things but before you experience you know the rewards uh, or, or the good news i kind of feel that there you might need to um deal with a lot of uh i would say learning some form of lesson now uh i'm not sure how to explain this but i kind of feel that there is something 
you will experience some form of loss you know it doesn't mean that you are going to lose someone or lose something but there is some form of inner lesson that you will experience so that will lead you to some form of realization of what you should do what you might have done in the past or what you should do in the future all those kinds of things um, there are definitely going to be major lessons that is going to be presented to you but definitely i do see because we do have this uh, loyalty card and the six of wands as the outcome of the reading along with the queen of hearts and the ring uh, it gives me a feeling that you know whatever is missing in your life whatever you are lacking right now you are going to be receiving them you, you will be receiving some form of news some form of forward movement some form of answer some form of message or it could be literally someone um making a connection with you a contract communication all those kinds of things we do have a lot of retrograde happening so it can be someone from the past but i'm not really focused on the past present or future right now what is very important here is that you know you might feel as if the month of june seems empty at first it gives you that feeling of empty and frustration but as you move forward with the month you will see that you know there's actually a lot of engagement that is happening that is solving her problem solving what is uh, confusing you one by one that is definitely the energy here and the six of wands is really that is the really the card we're in you know after you have encountered a lot of problems a lot a series of blockages a series of feeling stuck suddenly it's like you know a, a, a time of something that leads to victory so it could be a relationship finally occurs or make contacts with you or you know some form of happy news and you know like it's that it's that moment wherein someone finally arrives someone finally understands you someone finally um knocks on your door that kind of feeling that kind of energy so definitely i do see some form of partnerships you know coming to the surface here partnerships and communication again with our astro dice we have here mercury in the sign of capricorn and whenever i do astro dice you know i always take into consideration what the energy of the astro dice is it's in our 11th house so you will be able to communicate someone maybe someone new or acquaintance or someone that you already know but maybe you have not talked to for quite a long while because the energy of capricorn right now is you know has a lot of retrograde planets pluto um, saturn and jupiter are all there so it could be opportunities that you once lost you know you might have to untangle that or some form of uh, real talk or mercury is the planet of um, communication and talking ideas and all of that so some form of realness that's what we see basically when when we pair up uh, capricorn into the picture you know capricorn is that form or idea wherein we need to work hard on something working hard through a communication maybe um you know maybe it is a struggle at first but eventually as you know opportunities comes in you will be able to forge the connection that you are longing for even before you know and we do have the activation of the social house the 11th house you know it could literally be someone you know very that once made you feel alive you know that is just a possibility it could really be someone new definitely but i am you know i'm just using my own intuition here that you know it could be someone that you already know i'm not saying it is a past lover though it might be but it could it's definitely with regarding someone that you already know so also this can also be a situation where you will have a clear idea about the relationships that you have with the people that are around you you will see the true colors 
of um, the the relationship and connections that you have made recently if they are really worth investing your time with if they are really worth all the effort you know you will see um, what to do with all of those relationships in place as well so this is definitely going to be um, a wonderful month for a lot of Sagittarius because you know you will see um, the future endeavor you know you're not going to be confused anymore and you're not going to be hanging by the thread you are going to take ownership of your life and you'll have more energy to push forward to where you really want to go and you know that all those kind of stuff so um, definitely long conversations can really happen during this time he, again i say that you know at the first half of the month maybe there is like a, a pause or a struggle in communication maybe no talking can occur all those kinds of things but the second half of the month creates a lot of changes and a lot of opportunities that you can correct and um to take or get back on things you know that allows you to really see your own future on where it really should be so um yeah this is my reading for you guys sagittarius sagittarius sun moon and rising sign i hope that you find this reading helpful and it it has given you insight and clarity to your own situation again this is a general reading so if you do want a personal reading just like this one specific for your own situation you can do so by um, booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com and i shall see you guys again next month goodbye